I don't want you to think about all these other measures at the same time. I want you to separate the universe into two piles. Does that make sense? So don't have strategy review meetings that incorporate operational measures. Try not to do that. Have this thing called an operations meeting. Okay, so like imagine you work at Walmart. Has anyone ever worked at Walmart? I used to work at McDonald's, obviously. So there's a variety of, oper not recently, um, but uh, the variety of operational measures that a Walmart uses. And at Walmart, it's very decentralized down to the department level. So if I'm in cosmetics, and I'm the department manager for cosmetics, I want to know uh, how much red lipstick is inbound, what's my turnover rate on this, I've got a deal going on that. I've got a whole set of operational measures. Now, strategy might be to sell a certain type of product that's a higher end product. I don't know. So I might make more of an effort to sell that to you, to you, to you. But I just want to make sure that the other stuff, I'm just tracking the usage levels and the stockage rates and things like that. Does that make sense? Have I, does, this, does, this, does this answer your question? So when you, when you smash all these different measures together, strategy has a scorecard and we use strategic measures. That's the difference. We, strategy has a balanced scorecard and we use strategic measures on that scorecard. It, operations uses dashboards and key performance indicators. And they're different. Now, can some of these cross the line? Absolutely. But they don't all get put into a big pile. And the reason is because they're different purposes. Right. The Chanel lipstick, it's not $8, I'm sure it's like $500, but the reality is, and it's not, you're never going to get it at Walmart, but the, the fact of the matter is, right, I'm just, what's the lipstick sales, lipstick sales going up, lipstick sales going down, do I have enough red lipstick, it's holiday time, or whatever it is, I mean, it's, it's prom season, you know what I mean, I mean, I would know that if I was managing that department, I probably know more about this than I should, but, uh, th but then there's certain things that comes down from the strategy, it's like, listen, we have a real push on high-end goods because we're trying to impact margins. So it's not just lipstick sales. It's these certain types of lipstick that fall into this category. And what I want you to do is I want you to move them and give them better placement, and I want you to talk to people about it. That red lipstick is lovely, but it looks a little chalky. Have you tried this lipstick? I mean, that's the kind. But, but now, but now, but now you're, it's kind of tongue-in-cheek, but that's what alignment is, right? The irony with strategy is that the people that execute the strategy, that make the strategy, are the furthest away from executing it. Right? Herb Kelleher and all that, nothing to do with the strategy. The woman on the ground who's picking up the bag and moving, she's the one that's actually executing the strategy because she makes the fast ground turnaround happen. Does that make sense? So, so alignment does matter. Now, it, meaning we got to get there. So, so the whole point is if, if we're trying to move into high margin products at Walmart, you know, there's high margin uh, products in lawn and garden. You know, we're focusing on lipstick and cosmetics, but there's high margin products in, uh, in bath or whatever. It doesn't, you know, in electronics. It's when when, when a, a half a trillion dollar organization and all the, the tens of thousands of people that work in that organization get that message, that is really powerful. And that's why we use measures and we select these right, you know, these, I, we identify these handful of strategy measures to push down into the organization. But if you try to mix them all together in this kind of bouillabaisse of measures, it becomes very confusing because we can't change our behavior. If you say to that person on the cosmetics floor, do a great job with all these measures, it's like, what's my priority? I, we, I, I, okay, I, I'll do the best I can. When I say, listen, I want you to focus on the high margin products and these in particular, now it's clear to me. Is that sensible? And that's what we're trying to do with the measures part of, the, of SMS. Uh, question, go ahead. No, that's not a temptation. That's what's happening. <laughs> no, it's well, we, with SMO, we've seen it. We've seen it. What happens is the, there, there were very limited usages of dashboards, or they weren't clear in how they linked to operations. The magic SMS scorecard came out, and then the thinking was, which is logical if you think about it, this is important stuff, right? Let's put all the important measures on here. Important, not equal to strategic. Important, is it important that pilots have the right number of hours of flight time? Absolutely. Is it strategic? No. No. We don't have to have a meeting talking about whether or not pilots are getting enough training. They just have to do that to be in business. That's an operational measure. So what you're saying it has happened here. So what we're trying to do is, is give you the awareness to separate the C. Put, put your operational measures, 
point two in a different device, have a different meeting with a different focus. You don't have to sit down and do deep learning and problem solving. You just need to say, how much lipstick got sold? This much. How much is that relative to this time last year? About the same. Do we need any more? No. Next. We don't have to spend a ton of time on that. When we start talking about, why aren't people buying the red lipstick? Well, did you have enough? We had enough. Is it too expensive? I'm not sure. Do you see? that no, it's a totally different conversation because we're trying to figure out what's working versus just controlling a, a performance or checking progress. I'm hoping this has helped clarify some things because I find even with senior leaders, that's, this, this, this distinction is not entirely clear. But it's really important because you'll be in meetings and you're talking about all different things. It won't make sense. It'll be very confusing. I'm hoping you've not been in those meetings. But uh, yeah, no. Um, so again, some examples. Measures to control performance. Uh, most organizations in the private sector have to file a 10K. There's some compliance. Uh, talks about their financial controls. There's a certain st structure and certain things they must report by segment, all types of obligations, et cetera. Uh, that just needs to be done. You know, the, the accounting, you know, in finance, there's a, you know, there's a certain level of reporting that has to occur. You don't sit down and go, well, why do we need to report? Well, let's talk about the regulatory. No, we just got to get it done. It's done and make sure it got done and it's right. And then we can move on to other things. Other things being basic business operations. Here's an example of a report from FedEx on their global citizenship. You know, they're just monitoring volunteer hours, full-time retention rate, employee engagement. These are good things to know. They're basic business process and functional measures. Want to check these out. Excuse me, manage these on a day-to-day -day basis. Customers happy? Yeah. Is that going up or down? Processes working? Yeah, about, about the same. So again, running the operations of the organization next. <coughs> and then uh, we want to use, but we are only concerned for SMS, right? So I want you to put your SMS hat on, only concerned with measures that test the strategy at this point, okay? And in all cases, in all cases, in all cases, we will start with the thing called the strategy map. That's where our starting point for measure development is, and this is important. It's not what I like to measure, what I think is important, what my boss said. It, if we're going to measure strategy, start with the strategy itself. 